Islands. Say it again. U.S. No. Welcome. Welcome to St. Thomas. U.S. Virgin Good morning. Today is day four. We are in St. Thomas. We don't get into St. Thomas until almost 12 p.m. So it was a do anything you want morning for us. And Nina decided to play Carnival Tower, their version of Giant Jenga. And guess what? She won! <laughs> She helped knock out a bunch of six and seven year olds. <laughs> This area is called Haven Site. Overall, Haven Site is a great port to dock in because it offers something for everyone, whether you're on an organized shore excursion with a cruise line, or if you're grabbing a cab to the Red Hook Ferry Terminal to go over to St. John for the day, or if you take a jitney, which Johnny and I did, up to the mountaintop or Megan's Bay. So whether you're looking for a brand name, item, or souvenirs, you'll definitely find them here in one or more of the 60 stores situated at Haven Site. Whether you're interested in watches, jewelry, diamonds, clothing, cameras, perfumes, liquor, china, tobacco, or souvenirs, one of the many stores at Haven Site probably has what you're looking for. Thomas is one of the Virgin Islands in the Caribbean Sea and together with St. John 
Water Island, and St. Croix, a former Danish colony, form a county and constituent district of United States Virgin Islands. Located on the island is a territorial capital and port of Charlotte Amelie. Denmark Norway's first attempt to settle the island in 1665 failed. However, the Danes did resettle St. Thomas in 1671. The island became a Danish crown colony in 1754 and was granted free port status in 1764. The land was divided into plantations and sugarcane production became the primary economic activity. As a result, the economies of St. Thomas and neighboring islands of St. John and St. Croix became highly dependent on slave labor and the slave trade. In 1691, the primary settlement there was renamed Charlotte Amelie in honor of the wife of Denmark's King Christian V. It was later declared a free port by Frederick V. In 1917, St. Thomas was purchased along with St. John and St. Croix by United States for $25 million in gold as part of a defensive strategy to maintain control over Caribbean and the Panama Canal during the First World War. The transfer occurred on March 31, 1917 behind Fort Christian before the barracks that now house the legislator of the United States Virgin Island. The baccalaureate service for the transfer was held at the St. Thomas Reformed Church as it was identified as the American Church in the Danish West Indies. The United States granted citizenship to the residents in 1927. The U.S. Department of the Interior took over administrative duties in 1931. American forces were based on the island during the Second World War. In 1954, passage of the U.S. Virgin Islands Organic Act officially granted territorial status for the three islands and allowed for the formation of a local senate with politics dominated by the American Republican and Democratic parties. The post-war era also saw the rise of tourism on the island, with relatively cheap air travel and the American embargo on Cuba. The numbers of visitors greatly increased. Despite natural disasters such as Hurricane Hugo in 1989, and Hurricane Louise and Marilyn in 1995, the island's infrastructure continues to improve as the flow of the visitors continues. Hotels have been built from the west end to the east end. Finally, Megan's Bay! We definitely fell in love on how clear the water here and the sand is so fine. I had so much fun snorkeling because I can see schools of fish so clearly. Megan's Bay, which is more than 500 yards long, is regarded by world travelers as one of the most magnificent to be found anywhere. The entire area was developed by St. Thomas Park Authority, now the Megan's Bay Authority for Public Recreation. We just stayed at the beach for about two hours. We just had a simple lunch by the beach, which Johnny bought from a food store close by. From the beach, we headed to Paradise Point, where we took the sky ride. The sky ride to Paradise Point is located across the street from Haveside Mall. In just 7 minutes to the top, you'll be delighted by the best views of Charlotte, Amelie Harbor, and neighboring islands.
We're on top of Paradise Point in St. Thomas. Welcome to St. Thomas. Say it again. U.S. Virgin Islands. Say it again. U.S. No. Welcome. Welcome to St. Thomas. U.S. Virgin Islands. Where are we? <laughs> St. Thomas. A paradise. Paradise. Taste of paradise. Taste of paradise? What? <laughs> And that is our day in St. Thomas. We will see you again in our next video.